News Radio, K Win. Back to the uh, studios of K Win today, 936 24, wave of the hour, talking uh, all about back to school in Dade County. Now, we've already talked about Davis and uh, uh, Josh Engel, superintendent here. We're going to talk about Dade Elementary, and you've got a, you got a, a, a lovely guest here for, uh, for us. Yes, sir. The principal of Dade Elementary, Miss Tracy Blevins, she has been. Uh, working hard this summer uh, gearing up uh, to get another school year started of the two elementary schools she obviously uh, is principal of our the the largest elementary school Uh, but uh, she's excited about uh, another year she has been putting a lot of time and effort into getting all her schedules her planning getting all that situated and now that time is upon us uh, so I know that she she has some information to share this morning. Yep. Thank you, Evan, for having me on. I greatly appreciate it. We are excited. Um, we um, get to have all of our students back. Our virtual kids will, will be back in the building. And um, as we all know, face-to-face instruction is the best for this age group. So we're excited. We're looking at about 750, 760 this year um, with 100 faculty and staff. So we are a large large organization <laughs> and of, of all your students uh, the 750 students that are enrolled at Dade Elementary about how many students were in person last year compared to virtual what would you guess oh um, we probably on the on the flip side of it we probably had at the beginning around around about 150 that were virtual so as the year progressed though a lot of those you know kids came back so we kind of finished the year around you know 60 70 virtual so um, we're just glad to have those students back in the building I like I like to see their smiling faces and you know and and face-to-face instruction like I said before is there's no substitute for that so we're excited about them being back is there any changes as far as schedules? You know, I, I guess uh, like uh, like Miss Barton did, run down your, you know, when can what's the earliest time I can drop off a student? Uh, when do you when does classes start? When will uh, when can I pick up my child in the afternoon? What um, uh, what time schedule are we looking? Okay, at? Um, there's there hasn't been any changes to this the you know morning drop off or afternoon pickups, but we do open the doors at seven thirty, and we'll be serving breakfast in the cafeteria instead of in the classroom. So um, students will come in, go and have a breakfast, free breakfast, and then our first bell rings at eight o'clock, and then our late bell is at eight ten. So after that, you know, we have to kind of shut it down, and they have to go through the office and you know to get to their classes. But we do offer an early pickup for pre-K and kindergarten, and that's at two forty-five from our upper parking lot. So we kind of do that because we are a large, you know, student body, just to kind of. Um, you know get our littles off the campus safely and so then um, everyone else is considered a late car rider which is really not late but 315 for um, the late car riders and that's behind our cafeteria like normal and we just ask that everybody be patient for the you know the, the next couple of weeks because we do have a lot of students who have never actually been through that process of hearing their name called and then lining up and going out to cars so if they'll just be patient with us for the you know first couple of weeks we'll have that trimmed down to a, a very manageable time um go ahead and evan you talked about construction road construction and delays you know just a moment ago it doesn't matter if if there was no road construction exactly every (laughs) year when school starts back Mm -hmm. oh the first three or four days it's pandemonium on the the roadways yes (laughs) Yes. and then the first friday night football game at Mm. five o'clock when everybody's trying to go to the exact same restaurants it's going to be gridlocked so we just ask for uh for patience we're you know um, and with the elementary school being our largest school uh, right in the heart of uh, Trenton, you know, it, there's bound to be some, some traffic jams. Well, First Street's always a busy, busy, mm-hmm. busy place during the school year, mornings yeah. and afternoons. It is. We'll have it worked out, but it's going to take us, you know, like I said, a couple of weeks, and we'll have it down to a manageable time. And, you know, just to... Um, 
if, if parents want to kind of minimize the amount of time that they're in that line, you know, stagger your times. Don't get there right at 315. I mean, you're not going to be able to pull up and, you know, get out within 10 minutes. So if you want to stagger, you know, come at 330, come at 340. You know, that way you're not having to sit in the line for, you know, 15, 20 minutes and we can, you know, get your students out to you and get you off campus safely. All right. Well, fantastic. Looks for uh, looks for a good start. Tonight is open house, so what time do we need to be there? Um, doors will open at 4.30, and then we um, kind of ask everybody to be out of the building by 6, just so our teachers can get home, get back to school the next day, get everything prepared so that we can have students in the building on Thursday. So that's 4.30 to 6 tonight. To 6. And then, ag again, as I mentioned with uh, Ms. Barton here a while ago, all the students are going to get that uh, that packet of information that comes on uh, the comes home the first day we've tried to streamline that so that it's not a lot of loose pieces of paper we've got it in a booklet format date elementaries will have their logo on the front of theirs we ask that just parents well you know fill out complete the information and send it back just close close the book booklet up stuff it in the envelope and send it back exciting time of the year uh and uh, we certainly appreciate you uh, coming in and giving us uh the information that we need to get back to uh, get back to class. Absolutely, thank you, Evan. All right. Well, uh, we'll continue with our discussions here uh, on uh, back to school on the K Win Today program. So stay with us. We'll take a quick break and more on the way.